be installing Metaploitable 3, which is basically two virtual machines that consist of Windows 2008 server, so Ubuntu 14.04 also as well as the server. So basically these are two vulnerable uh, machines that basically we could start ethically hacking them without uh, facing any like consequences because this is legal all right so to start installing these we're just gonna open up uh, just a new browser and let's go into the rapid 7 docs so as you can see we have four links uh, for the requirements in order for us to just uh, make this uh, commands over here and just to actually run these commands later on you're just going to open up powershell so you could press windows and then x and then hit windows powershell admin press yes and let's just put that down for now all right so let's just install the packages so first of all to install packer just go into the installation page all right it's going to give you this all right so just make sure you're not in the tutorial just make sure you're in packer install like i did over here all right so on windows as you can see we have 386 which is basically like intel processors and this is amd processors all right so just download this one all right i already have it downloaded so i'm not going to re-download that but anyway here it is uh also you have like uh, tutorials for linux and mac os but we're not going to get into those right now all right so after actually installing uh packer basically we're going to install vagrant and also we could find a like a normal uh exe file that we could uh, use over here and install it all right just make sure to disable the hyper virtualization uh, feature you can do that from advanced uh, system settings and then uh, do features on or off this is for the gui version if you want to do that on your own you could just disable hyper v from over here just unclick that or you can use this uh, command copy and paste this PowerShell over here. Just go into PowerShell and voila, it's just voila, it's just gonna disable Hyper V for us directly. So you can choose either way. Basically, it's gonna work. Um, but this is for Windows 10 and this is for Windows 11. So if you're using Windows 11, you can use this in an elevated PowerShell, like just we did. Just open up in an admin PowerShell uh that is pretty much it and actually it does mention that at the end of the installation as well all right so after doing that just go up all right and remove all of this just vagrant and then slash install and again it's going to take you to a link where you can download this uh, for intel and amd processors so just download the intel version Finally, uh, we're going to download Vagrant Reload Plugin, which is just actually a command. And finally, VirtualBox. So if you haven't already installed VirtualBox, just download it. Select next, next, next. And that is pretty much it. In terms of the Vagrant Plugin, we're just going to hit this command, right? So, yep, just go into wherever you download this and just install them. So I have them over here. All right, so Packer and then Vagrant and VirtualBox as well. I already have that installed. It's already opened. Uh, and finally, the Packer, uh, the Vagrant Reload, I'm sorry. All right, so actually, just let me show you in Packer. You're just going to open this as administrator. It's going to take you kind of like a, a bad script. And it just installs for you Packer. So just to make sure it's installed, just press packer uh, in a cmd also you can open that up by windows x or also you can do that in your powershell so packer here it is and after that we install vagrant as well and just make sure vagrant is installed and finally 
we're just gonna install the background plugin which is background reloader right let me just control c out of this background plugin and then install background reload press enter and then the plugin is going to be installing so until this is installing basically you can just minimize this and bear in mind when when you disable hyper v it's best to actually restart your computer sometimes uh, that is what windows recommends when you disable this so at this step after actually installing uh, the, the last thing in powershell which is background reload just uh, restart your computer i already have this installed so i'm not gonna do that so just close all of these tabs and just get this one all right so wherever you want to uh actually like uh install your uh metasploit with three virtual machines like for example i have this in my e hard disk just go into your powershell again run as administrator you can do that by windows x uh, let's open that to the side all right so we just want to go into where we want to go into e so first of all let's go into e uh, this is the hard disk we want and afterwards and press directory to check out where the directory is so you can just make a new directory here i'm just gonna make it over here but you could make it wherever you want let's say like for example i want to go into get into like virtual box or actually you could just make a new directory so make directory uh metasploitable 3 workspace for example like it's gonna be something like that yeah and then go into that folder all right and as you can see that did not work because I, we can use the invoke web request for windows powershell all right so we can just press this command copy and paste this press enter and basically it's going to start downloading Explorer 3 after you press background up so basically we just get this uh like link the background file from github right and then afterwards we basically just start using background to get building this uh virtual machines so this is gonna take uh, a lot of time i'm not gonna waste your time so just leave it for a little bit of a while let's maybe like take like 15 minutes maybe 20 minutes uh, it just takes a little bit of uh, time to actually build the machines and download them because like each machine just bear in mind is a little bit uh, like big in size you're gonna find that it's still just uh, building and everything but as you can see it's just starting as you can see however let me go into wherever i installed them before uh here it is uh actually no uh, yep here it is so for the ubuntu 14.04 that's like five gigabytes and for the 2008 windows that's like uh 13 gigabytes so that's a big download if just bear in mind so that's why it's going to take a little bit of time and afterwards actually so we're going to find out that these two machines are installed over here on your virtual box you can just start them and the admin credentials like i showed you at the beginning of the video is background background and background background also for metasploitable 3 so that was pretty much it you guys this is how to install metasploitable 3 on your windows machine thank you so much for watching uh this was angry to you and everyone happy hacking i'll see you guys in the next video this was angry to you and peace